when I was asked to do this, it was right after, a, I think it would be, it was, it was either a Sunday night meeting or a Wednesday night meeting. And I was just thrilled. And um, I shut my computer off and I just started writing. And so, but the first thing I thought of was Second Thessalonians. Well, first thing I thought of was giving thanks for all of you brethren. Because you encourage me and you feed me. And uh, I can truly say that I give thanks upon every remembrance of you. So I'm going to start with 2 Thessalonians 2.13. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. So what am I thankful for? Well, I'm thankful that God is sustaining me. And I know I'm growing because I'm still receiving and I'm still seeing more of the gospel as it's opened up through you precious brethren. I'm thankful for God's promises that are sure and true. I'm thankful to know God finishes what he begins without any difficulty, what he intends to do, knowing it is good as done. I'm thankful in knowing that I have been called according to his purpose because I do love him. And looking at different times through the past year, I know all things, I know all of, are, are done for my good. I know he's begun a good work, and I know it's going to be good. And that builds my confidence and assurance to help me keep going. I'm thankful for God's peace that can only come from above and confirms to me that I'm still connected to the vine. We need that confirmation. Amen. I need it <laughs> all the time. I'm thankful for the living word that is still convicting, changing, directing, and sustaining me along with the whole body of Christ. I'm very thankful for Christ who is my intercessor. I'm thankful that his mercies, for they, I'm thankful for his mercies for they are new every morning. I'm thankful for his cleansing power. I'm thankful for the comforter who remains with me even while in a dry and thirsty land. I'm thankful that separation from all those that I love doesn't have to be eternal. I'm thankful for the love of the brethren. Seeing they are blessed makes me rejoice with them. I'm thankful that if the wind and waves seem to be on the increase, attempting to divert my attention, I can cry out to my Lord and know he will lift me up again. Only he can prepare a table in the midst of mine enemies and not one can keep me from partaking of it. I'm thankful that by just a word, Jesus can calm the storm. I'm thankful that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I'm thankful for the examples written in the scriptures for our admonition, for helping us to get acquainted with the Father above. I'm thankful for live stream. I, think, I, I give thanks for that every time. I'm here, and I will continue to do that until I'm live here. <laughs> But I give thanks for live stream because it allows me to partake along with you. Amen. And that is a great comfort. I'm thankful that the threshing floor is swept clean. I'm thankful he keeps those who are his. These are things I'm thankful for this year, the last year. And I'm thankful this year again for these things. I'm thankful our suffering isn't for naught. I'm thankful for the hope that has been given to me, knowing that my calling and election is sure. I'm thankful that God gives the increase, and what that comes with is another measure of faith. I'm thankful that God has caused us to cross paths so that we may travel together. I'm thankful how the Lord is working on my behalf. I'm thankful Jesus has gone on to prepare a place for me and that he will return for me. And as for... As for um, our home, I have my heavenly home that's waiting for me. But I'm thankful for our Joplin house. I'm thankful that it was a provision for Brother Levi, Enoch, and Canaan for a time, and that God protected them. I'm thankful that God brought Sister Katie into our lives, and that I was able to witness she and Brother Levi become one in marriage. I'm thankful for two more grandchildren, Taylor and Allie, who are precious. It brings me to a baker's dozen in grandchildren now. I'm thankful for God's working in Sister Katie's life and being able to witness Brother Levi baptizing her into Christ. I'm thankful for how God can use what we have. Even though I'm not here to labor alongside you yet, 
God is using our Joplin house for Brother Justin and Sister Tanya and their family, which also blesses me knowing God is the one who has orchestrated all these things. When traveling, I'm always asking God for protection. When we start out every, after every stop, with every stop, because there's a long road, <laughs> it's a long distance, I thank him for protecting us, and I continue to ask him. When I see a deer along the side, I immediately thank you for keeping him down the side. You know, there might be a dozen. We've counted up to 20. I thank him every time because he's the one who's protecting us. I don't take that for granted. And um, when I was traveling, when we were traveling, I, uh, I say I always ask for protection. Oh, um, I think that might be on the next one. Um, Oh, yes, yes. In July, we came up, and I, uh, I gave thanks uh, for God's protection because we hit a 200-plus-pound alligator, and it flipped us up on two wheels, and we should have rolled. The, the airbag should have gone off, and we should have just rolled. But we didn't. We went up on two wheels. Jim got control, and we went off onto the side, and I immediately thanked the Lord. And I turned around and looked out the back window, and I thought, that huge alligator... And I saw these cars coming, and I thought, thank you, Lord, and then started asking, can you please continue to protect us? Because if somebody else hits that gator, they might not have favor, and they might go off and not be able to control and still take us out. <laughs> so I asked him, I was asking, because I was, I was watching these lights come towards me, and they, and they didn't, none of them hit it, and I gave thanks to the Lord. And we were able to, we, well, we're here. <laughs> We made it through that as well. I'm thankful to witness God working in my older brother, Jerry. When we were children, he never went to church but a, a few times. And he was, and this trip, I've prayed for a number of my family. But I've always known on that hard shell, you haven't met him. But I've always known on that hard shell, there's something soft inside, something good inside. And he just was really, and he kept wanting to tell me, you know, uh, about, you know, I'm going to church. I'm not the same person I used to be. And he had gotten this little key from church. And he'd opened up his glass, and there's like, he said, see that little key there? And I said, yeah, what does that little tiny key go to? He says, that's the key to heaven, because you never know when the Lord's going to take you. And I keep that with me at all times. And that blessed me, you know, because he, he was talking like that. He's thinking and talking. I'm thankful I've been able to attend some of the meetings with you, brethren, in August and December. Because the Lord provides. We don't have a money tree, but the Lord provides. I'm thankful that God will not allow me to go through more than I can handle. And his grace is sufficient for even me. I'm still thankful that the treasures I've stored up in heaven are safe and secure. Amen. I'm thankful I've not been shown all my flaws at once and that I am still being changed for the better, being conformed into Christ. I'm thankful for being delivered from Babylon. I still deal with things and I'm, you know, get back on the, you know, it's like this thinking, you know. And so I keep listening to you, brethren, to keep me back on, you know, keep me on track. I am thankful I've been given ears to hear. And that I know, I know his voice. I recognize it, and I hear him. I'm thankful for the Holy Spirit that abides in me. I'm thankful God is slow to anger, merciful and long-suffering. I'm thankful God has given me to fear him, not as one afraid to approach him, but one knowing that he means what he says. I'm thankful for the Lord's continued provisions for making it here to there. And I'm very thankful that I am only accountable for myself and no other. I am only responsible for working out my own salvation. We shall all stand before God on that day of judgment. And I am thankful I have assurance as I walk by faith and not by sight. May I be a light along the way and a vessel for good used to glorify Christ as I spend the remainder of my days serving God. My heart's desire as I sojourn here is to be a benefit to the body of Christ wherever I meet them and never a hindrance. To be bold in speaking the truth, being wise as a serpent yet harmless as a dove, 
looking for open doors and always ready to give an answer for the hope of my calling. I do not know what all lies ahead for me, but I do know who is orchestrating and governing all things, and I do know that he is and will be with me through it all until my race is finished. Amen. And those are just a few things that I'm thankful for. Amen. And, when, and just to add a footnote, I am thankful that my mom and dad are here. Yeah. And I'm very thankful when they came to the service Sunday, they really got a lot out of it. Yeah. And they, were, they really received an abundance, and I know they're going to leave with their cup overflowing. Yeah. So I thank you, brethren, not only for helping my children but my grandchildren, but you've blessed my parents, yes. and you continue to, can continue yes. to bless me. Amen. Thanks, Amen. brother. Amen.